Hello friends, welcome to Random Recap. Finally, after a long journey, we've discussed this series from Season 1 until now, reaching Season 4 and the last part of the series, The Last Man on Earth. Before we dive in, I am very grateful to all of you who have patiently watched our recaps. I also want to apologize for the long delay in uploading this series. Alright, without further ado, here is the last episode of The Last Man on Earth. In the previous episode, Todd and Melissa discussed having a child and then attempted to talk to Erica about it. Todd was too nervous to broach the subject, so Melissa explained their desire to have a child with Erica's help. Erica was surprised and asked for some time to think about Todd's request. Meanwhile, Tandy and Carol also began to desire another child, even though Carol had just given birth to twins. Erica, after considering Todd's request, talked to Gail about it. Gail suggested that Todd might not be serious. Later, during a dinner party, Todd anxiously awaited Erica's decision. Feeling pressured, Erica asked Todd and Melissa to speak privately. After their discussion, Todd's face fell in disappointment, and he ended up crying. The next day, Todd became increasingly despondent and uninterested in life, despite Melissa's efforts to cheer him up with a toy train set. He spent his time silently playing with the train, filling an entire room with tracks. While Todd mourned not having a child, Tandy and Carol were dealing with Carol's unexpected pregnancy. Seeing Todd's sadness, Tandy decided to offer his third child to Todd. However, Todd refused, wanting to have a child of his own. When Tandy told Todd about Carol's new pregnancy, Todd became even more upset, destroying his train set in a fit of rage. As Tandy played a ball game in the living room, he noticed the absence of Todd's train set. Todd and Melissa then entered, appearing in better spirits. Todd apologized to everyone for his behavior. Unexpectedly, Erica approached Todd and said she now wanted to have a child with him. Todd was initially hesitant, worried Erica was doing it just for him, but Erica assured him it was her genuine desire. With Erica agreeing to have a child with Todd, the group rallied to support them. Tandy and Carol even created a special space for Todd to focus on the process. Todd expressed his gratitude as he entered the room while Carol stood guard outside. Meanwhile, Melissa thanked Erica for agreeing to help, and Erica reassured her it was her own choice. Todd completed his part in the process, and Gail, acting as the intermediary, took his sample to Erica. They all waited anxiously for the results. During this time, a mysterious truck appeared, heading towards Zewatneo, unrelated to the Tucson family. Two months later, with no word from Erica about the pregnancy, Todd grew impatient and searched her room for a pregnancy test, which angered Erica. Tandy intervened, apologizing to Erica and calming Todd down. Meanwhile, Gail found Carol installing an alarm system to prevent intrusions like the one Carl had caused. The episode's final scene shows the mysterious truck arriving at Jasper's campfire. Tandy's alarm system goes off, signaling someone entering their home. Tandy checks but finds nothing and goes back to sleep. The next morning, he follows his routine but notices his hair has been cut in a prank similar to one by his brother, Mike. Tandy confronts what he thinks is Mike hiding behind a curtain, only to find empty shoes. A message makes Tandy believe Mike is responsible, leading him to another clue. A microphone set up for karaoke. Mike suddenly appears and the brothers embrace in a joyous reunion. Mike and Tandy prank the group, pretending to reveal Jasper but surprising everyone with Mike's presence. Gail, startled, fires her gun, but Mike reveals it was all a joke. They celebrate Mike's return with a feast, and Mike shares stories of his adventures, including meeting people with advanced technology. Despite initial fear, the group relaxes when Mike says it was all a joke. Tandy and Carol introduce their children to Mike, making him happy to meet his namesake nephew. Mike congratulates Erica on her relationship with Gail. Todd, feeling jealous, reassures Mike about his plans with Erica. Mike leaves them to talk privately, and Todd apologizes to Erica for pressuring her. Mike takes Tandy to his truck to show off his gadgets, including a body temperature detector. Todd, Melissa, and Gail discuss Todd's suspicions about Erica sabotaging the pregnancy by drinking soda. Despite Todd's frustration, the group urges him to be patient. Later, Mike finds insulting graffiti and confronts Todd, who denies involvement. That night, 
Todd apologizes to Erica, who then announces she is pregnant. Overjoyed, Todd celebrates the news with everyone, and they throw a party for the upcoming baby. After the party, Mike monitors his temperature detector and gets a signal indicating a human presence. The scene opens with Mike, who is in disbelief over what his thermal device has just detected. The scene then shifts to everyone having breakfast prepared by Carol, but it's clear they aren't enjoying the meal. As they try to eat, Mike arrives late and apologizes for missing breakfast. He explains that his thermal device detected a significant heat source, which he suspects might be a volcano since it's too intense to be human. Mike plans to investigate the source the next day. Hearing this, Tandy becomes upset with Mike, who has only just returned after a long absence. Tandy tries to persuade Mike to stay by reminding him how difficult it is to take care of three children without his help. After several pleas, Mike reluctantly decides to postpone his trip. Meanwhile, the women go searching for stores to replenish their food supplies, and Melissa hones her shooting skills with Gail's help. That night, Mike secretly attempts to leave, but Tandy catches him and blocks the truck's path with his head. Mike threatens to run over Tandy's head with the truck, but Tandy calls his bluff. After a long argument, Mike gives up on leaving. The next morning, Mike catches Tandy hiding his truck keys, but Tandy pretends he's just cleaning the fireplace. Not wanting to escalate the situation, Mike nods and walks away. Feeling bored, Tandy later finds Mike playing with a large ball and joins in. They spend the day playing together, enjoying each other's company, and singing favorite songs into the night. At midnight, Tandy proudly shows off his adorable twin babies to Mike, marveling at their cuteness. Afterward, Mike heads to bed, but Tandy soon finds him retrieving the hidden truck keys. A heated argument ensues, with Mike insisting on leaving. Mike admits he's jealous of Tandy's life, including his wife and children. This revelation causes Tandy to reflect. The next day, as Mike prepares to leave, Tandy shows up to bid him farewell. Suddenly, Tandy pulls out a bag and insists on coming along as a condition for Mike's departure. Tandy quickly says goodbye to Carol and the kids, and they set off to investigate the thermal reading. The scene shifts to Todd, who is repainting a room for Erica. While painting, Todd accidentally makes a hole in the wall. Curiosity gets the better of him and he continues to dig until he discovers a hidden corpse. After discovering the corpse, Erica suddenly returns, and Todd quickly covers the hole, telling Erica to leave. Erica immediately smells a foul odor, giving Todd a perfect excuse to send her away. Unable to bear the smell, Erica leaves, and Todd resumes his search. After digging deeper, Todd finds a secret room and continues breaking through the wall. The scene shifts to Tandy and Mike on their journey. They come across an avocado and orange orchard. Feeling hungry, Tandy decides to stop and pick some fruit. As they do, they find a herd of goats gathered in one spot. Not wanting to miss the opportunity, Tandy plans to bring all the goats back to show everyone. Mike, however, insists they continue their journey to the source of the heat. They compromise by selecting one male and one female goat to breed later and continue their trip. Back to Todd, who, after finding the secret room, calls everyone to see his discovery. Inside, they find several mummified corpses. They further explore the area, which frightens everyone when they find weapons, marijuana, and active grenades. The scene shifts again to Tandy and Mike, who finally arrive at the source of the heat. Mike finds nothing, making the trip seem pointless. Tandy suggests returning home, but Mike asks for some time alone to reflect. Meanwhile, in Tucson, Melissa and the others test if the grenades are functional. Melissa pulls the pin on a grenade and throws it. After a few seconds, it explodes, prompting them to gather all the evidence, including marijuana and firearms. As they do, Carol starts playing the piano, heightening everyone's caution. Gail stops Carol, asking if the piano has been checked. Everyone shakes their heads, indicating it hasn't. Gail inspects the piano and finds an explosive inside. They use Tandy's robotic dog to trigger the bomb, successfully blowing up the piano and the explosive. Back with Tandy and Mike, after a long wait, they decide to return to the Tucson residence. Upon arrival, Mike's thermal device suddenly activates, and the area where Mike had been sitting starts rumbling. A door appears, 
and numerous people wearing protective masks emerge from the hidden space. As soon as Tandy and Mike arrive, they are greeted by everyone who has packed their personal belongings. Tandy and Mike are puzzled about why everyone is carrying their possessions. Gail explains that the house has been declared unsafe due to the discovery of several grenades, corpses, and firearms. Before they leave, Tandy and Mike reveal the miracle they recently found. Two pairs of goats that can provide them with yogurt, milk, and meat. Following this, a farewell ceremony begins, led by Tandy in a solemn manner, much like a human farewell. After the prayer, Tandy instructs everyone to wear safety glasses and hats. He then presses the bomb button to demolish the house. However, when the bomb explodes, debris from the house hits the two goats that were running around. Despite this, everyone remains unbothered, and Tandy and Mike search for another vehicle to accommodate everyone. After a long search, they find a truck capable of carrying a train carriage. They decide to head to a place called Cancun. Everyone is excited about moving to a new, comfortable place. The journey, led by a cheerful Tandy, begins. Halfway through, Tandy decides to stop where he and Mike found the goats. However, upon arrival, everyone focuses on picking some oranges while Tandy and Mike search for the missing goats. During their search, Mike spots a house, and they decide to investigate. Finding it safe, they choose to stay there for the night. After dinner, everyone goes to rest except Tandy, who can't sleep. He decides to play with his robotic dog, but is puzzled when it doesn't move. Checking the battery, he discovers it is dead. Unable to use it anymore, Tandy buries the robot dog. While digging, he hears a real dog barking and suddenly sees a dog right in front of him. Shocked, Tandy tries to catch the dog, but it runs away quickly. The next morning, after a good rest, finding the goats and picking some oranges, they prepare to continue their journey. Just as they start driving, they see the dog Tandy encountered the previous night. Seeing the dog again, Tandy reconsiders leaving the place. While others shout, Cancun, Tandy stops the vehicle, digs up the robot dog's grave, and explains that he'd rather stay here with plenty of fruit, sufficient goats, and a house. He hands the truck keys to Mike, allowing him to continue exploring if he wishes. With no other choice, everyone agrees to Tandy's plan and decides to stay. After Mike leaves and says goodbye, Tandy plans to plant some trees. As everyone gets enthusiastic and starts going outside, Gail and Todd call Tandy to see something important. Curious, Tandy steps outside. His face turns to shock and fear as he sees a large group of people with full protective gear staring at them. This is the end of The Last Man on Earth, Season 4 series. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment if you have a movie recommendation for us to discuss. See you soon.